So in this problem, I have been given an equation and I have to solve for m and n. Now this expression is 1 by m plus 1 by n is equals to 1 divided by m plus n. So now in this question you have one equation but two unknowns. So what are the unknowns? M and n are m and n are unknown. So m and n. How will you solve these two unknowns using one equation? This means there must be some trick or there must be some kind of expression that is coming towards the end of this problem. For example, sum square plus sum square is equals to zero. In that case, we will have both a square is equals to zero. So in that way, you can solve this problem. So you must have to find some trick. Then only you can solve. Now the right hand side, we have one fraction, but on the left hand side, we have two fractions. So let us first convert left hand side into one fraction and then let us try to factorize this. This means multiply the left hand side and right hand side so that we will have a simplified expression. So the LCM on the left hand side will be, so this we can write M into N and then this becomes N plus M and this is equals to 1 by M plus N. Now in the next step let us multiply this side and this this side that is cross multiplication. So if you do that you will have n plus m whole square is equals to m into n. Now we can use the formula. So here I will use the formula that is a plus b whole square and you remember this formula is a square plus b square plus 2ab. So this formula we have, so in this case this will become n square plus m square plus 2mn is equals to m times n. Now let us take m in this side, so this becomes m square plus n square plus 2mn minus mn, this is simply m times n. This is equals to 0. Now from here I cannot say anything. So I have to convert this expression in terms of sum of a squares and then sum of a square is equal to 0 then we can compare. So we want to convert into sum of a squares but I have m square plus n square here. I can again write this as m plus n square but in that case we have only one mn. So what we will do is we will multiply throughout this equation by 2. So let us see what happens. m square plus n square plus mn is equals to 0. So if you multiply by 2 throughout, so this will become 2m square and this will become 2n square and this will become 2mn. Now let us rearrange. So 2m square I can write m square plus m square. 2n square I can write n square plus n square. And then we will have 2mn and this is equals to 0. Now we are getting some, some close. You have m square, you have n square and then you have 2mn. So this will become m plus n whole square. So this is m plus n whole square. And then you have term m square plus n square and this is equals to 0. Now see the square of three terms is equals to 0. So square of this plus a square of this plus a square of this is 0. This means each term must be 0. So what I am saying this term is 0 as well as this term is 0 as well as this term is 0. All the terms should be 0. So in other word I can say in this case I will have m square is equals to 0. This means m is equals to 0. n square is equals to 0. This means n is equals to 0. And m plus n square is also 0. This means 
m is equals to minus n and which is satisfied by 0 0 so this means 0 is equals to minus 0 this means m is equals to 0 and n is equals to 0 is this the solution now let us see the initial problem that is we have 1 by m plus 1 by n now if m is 0 1 by m will be undefined that is basically this will tends towards infinity so to divide m cannot be 0 so in this case this is not possible so in this case there is no solution that is possible for this expression so no solution possible so in this case there is no solution so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy please like to this video and share with your friends and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.